Hello everybody, Cody McIntyre here from Boss Poses 3D. Today I am excited to be showing you my latest add-on for 3D printing. This sums up for just about every problem that we have with every other printing program. Let's do this, let's get into it. So this is how we use my new principal panel, okay? So all of the features you're ever going to need for making cuts and parts and stuff and exporting your STL are going to be right in front of your face now. There's not going to be too much changing tabs because we can now just toggle the tabs from the sidebar here. So let me just show you how we can actually get some cuts in here, make some pins. So if I wanted to, I could add a cube, add a plane, just make that bigger, make it solid. If I wanted to, I could come over and apply it over here at the side. All I would have to do is select both of the objects and just hit this button right here called Make Cut. And it's going to select our object like that. Now, we don't have to go into edit mode anymore to uh, separate the parts. You can just come over here and hit Create Parts. And what that's going to do is separate your object like that. So now what I can do is actually just kind of copy it like that. And I can raise the one cube up like so. And if I really wanted to, I could click that object, make sure it's uh, highlighted. And then what I can do is add a bevel point to it. And now we have a bevel. So what if I come over here, I'm just going to apply the bevel to that. And I'm going to come up to my scaling. And I'm just going to make sure that this is tall and narrow. Kind of like that. So that way we have a little bit of a connective point. And all I would have to do again without going into edit mode is just highlight both of these. Hit join together. Now this is one mesh. Now all I would have to do is bring the top down if I wanted to add, uh, say, like a pin join in this. I could copy this, then highlight this again, hit make cut. That way it cuts out that shape, or you could have just done that prior and just pasted that little piece. And then I'll just paste this part back in. Now we have a little joint within that. Now we can do this on figures, on anything you want. So you don't necessarily have to use the plane that's in the menu. You can use any shape. Just make sure you add a solidify to it. And then you can bend it or add a plane and then add a subdivision to it. And then you can bend it around in a, like around a neck or a part or something like that. And say if you wanted to sculpt something out, all you'd have to do is click this little tab. This is touch friendly, so you can use this with Windows Ink or tablets, whatever you choose. I use an Android tablet with Super Display, and I just connect that as a second touch monitor. And I can also go back into edit mode, and then you can just type or uh, press that again, and you'll go out. What I can also do here is enable the header, and that's going to remove this top bar right here that seems to be sometimes a distraction when you get it very cluttered. So say, for example, if I was in a sculpt mode and I was in really close, it just looks really, it looks a lot better if you just turn that off, right? And then if I press the N key, I can hide all that and just do my sculpting in one big panel. Press N again and just enable the panel, right? So that's really fun to do. And the second thing I could do as well is get out of sculpt mode here. I could highlight all of these, export these as an STL just right here without having to go up into file and try to tap on all these windows because I use touch a lot and I figure having a panel like this would just be amazing so that's what I decided to make for the past few days so I really hope you all enjoy this panel today it's, it took a lot of work for me to make and a lot of figuring out and I hope it, it does you guys some good so thank you all for tuning in today please do like and subscribe my pages on YouTube and Facebook at Boss Poses 3D for more tutorials and more add-on videos in the future thank you very much have a good night